most people who are setting up as a small or medium-sized business are going to go down the route of incorporating because of what it offers, because of the limited liability, you have a separate, it's a separate legal entity, so it sues and, sue, and it's sued in its own name, your assets are protected, provided you don't give a personal guarantee for any loans or anything like that. Taxation-wise, it's a lot more attractive. If you're a sole trader in a partnership, your tax is ta profits are taxed as income, income tax, whereas if you're a business, that's taxed at the corporation at the, as corporation tax, which is 12.5% for uh, trading income. Since the Companies Act has come into force, there's now effectively two options uh, for, for, for a company in that position. Um, you can now choose between a private company limited by shares or a designated activity company, whether it's limited by shares or by guarantee. The one that is most closely uh, aligned to the previous uh, situation before the new act came into force is the designated activity company. But that doesn't, if you choose to become a DAC, you don't, you can't avail of a lot of the reforms that were brought in in the new act, which are the ability to have a, so, a single one director as opposed to two. Um, you can dispense with your AGM, uh, even if you're not a single member company. These things aren't available if you register as a DAC and you have unlimited uh, capacity. You've, you've, you can do anything a normal person can do as a company. The form that makes most sense for somebody who wants to set up uh, in business as a cafe or, or a similar kind of enterprise is as a private company limited by shares, the new form limited, because of the, the reforms that have been brought in, the protections it offers for the, the, the people who are involved, the, the, form, the, the, the people who form the business. There's a lot of risk involved in setting up a business, especially doing something like any kind of catering thing. You know, there's a lot of risk there in terms of you've got people, a lot of people coming onto your premises on a daily basis. You're serving food, drinks, which can, you know, you've got you've got issues there: for health and safety, food hygiene, allergens, slips and falls, anything like that. You need to be very careful that you're fully protected. And business insurance isn't always going to isn't always going to do it. If you set up as a private company limited by shares, you've got limited liability, and it, uh, it's gonna, it offers a lot more protections. Now, it's not just that, from, a, from a, a company survival point of view, if you're setting up as a, private, as a private company limited by shares, you're going to be giving yourself a lot of advantages in terms of you're able to get investors to come into the company by offering them uh, shares, you know, so they'll invest if they take a, they'll put money in the company and they'll get a certain shareholding, or you can give shares to key employees who you want to keep, maybe you have a manager or something like that who you want to keep on, you want to get involved in the company, you can give them shares.